Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is a continuation of a game that we played not... Uh, I was going to say not that long ago, but actually, I can't really remember how long ago we played this. Uh, probably wasn't much longer than a year ago. Uh, I'm, of course, talking about... Fatal Frame. Uh, we originally played the PlayStation 2 version of that game, and that was kind of a blind playthrough. However, I did previously play that, um, and I actually recorded quite a big section of um, Fatal Frame 1, probably like half of it, and I absolutely hated it. I thought the controls basically ruined the game for me. Uh, and as I said in that playthrough, I actually shelved the game uh, and came back to it about a year and change later. Um, gave it another spin and for some reason it clicked and I really, really bloody enjoyed it. Uh, however, like I said, we played the PlayStation 2 version of that game. Uh, unfortunately, because the uh, original Xbox version is enhanced with more enemies, more enemies, uh, more enemies, more enemies. What else has it got? Not just more enemies. Uh, it had better graphics. I think it had an extra ending. Um, and they changed a few other bits. So it's the definitive way to play it. So I thought this time we're going to play Fatal Frame 2, but we're going to play it on the original Xbox. The original Xbox has, again, extra enemies, extra endings, um, much better improved graphics and frame rate, blah blah blah. <coughs> so says the back of the box, or at least the advertisements for this game. Anyway, I don't know about that, I can't really compare, because <laughs> I never played the original PlayStation 2 version. Um, now, this was originally going to be a blind playthrough of this game however I did actually play a good portion of this game all the way through but my Xbox kept crashing I also kept having some problems with my uh, capture card which some of you who have seen my older playthroughs will know I've got a 4k 60 capture card and it kept dropping out and we kept getting black screens. Did loads of research and they recommended that you're using low quality HDMI cables, which is probably true because some of these HDMI cables I've had, well, <laughs> since the original uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 games. So I've just spent a small fortune today on completely upgrading all of my HDMI cables and my HDMI splitters and all that stuff just set everything back up taken fucking ages uh, and yes no issues so far I've also changed some settings on my Xbox because obviously you can see it's modded and I did play a, a pretty big portion into this game uh, and no crashes, nothing. So we should be good to go. Anyway, let's go. Fatal Frame 2 or Project Zero 2, if you prefer. Now, I was originally going to buy a copy of this game, but it's like £240, something like that. So, nah. <laughs> I'd love to have it on my shelf, but... I'm not going to be spending that. Anyway, so we're going to hit up new game. Now this is where we get the first big difference on the Xbox version. We can play this game entirely in first person mode. This is unique to the Xbox. Uh, we're not going to be doing that. Maybe we're going to have another look at this down the line and give it a go in first person mode. But that's not going to be this play. We're going to go normal. Now, difficulty. Another interesting um, change straight off the bat. Apparently, on the PlayStation 2 version of this game, you only have normal to start off with, whereas hard is unlocked as default on the Xbox. Now, this game has four endings. Well, four endings on the Xbox, three on the PlayStation 2. And it has three difficulties on the PlayStation 2 and four difficulties on the Xbox so you can work out how you unlock all of the endings so the normal ending apparently is not very good the hard ending I believe correct me if you know 
better than I, uh, because as I say, I'm very new to these games. Uh, apparently the hard ending is the cannon ending, but there is a harder mode, and then unique to the Xbox, as I said earlier, there's an even harder mode, and that has the actual cannon ending, which is the best ending you can get, but for some silly reason, only on the Xbox version. Never a fan of companies re-releasing games and putting them on a different platform with extra stuff on them. Hated it when they did it with Resident Evil 4. Uh, I don't mind them coming out with a director's cut version of the game, but drop it on all platforms. It just, yeah, it, I find that very, very frustrating. Anyway, we're going to go hard. Didn't we always promise each other that we would always be together? to play here all the time. Yeah. All of this will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little, but I'm fine. Mia? Yes? <laughs> Never mind. About that time back then. Mayu? Mayu! Where are you going? Hmm, and this is where the game starts us. So we were starting in a forest, a little bit concerned by the fact that all of this apparently is going to be gone soon. Uh, our sister Mayu decides to run away. Uh, we followed her. We're called Meow or Mao or something, by the way, which <laughs> I thought was interesting. I've never heard that name before, but okay. Um and she is literally gone like a fart in a fan factory yeah but there seems to be some nonsense going on over here so let's go and see if we can't find our sister now fortunately we literally have no gear on us the way the two characters talk to each other in the cutscene is a bit strange as well
Mayu? A lost village. A lost village, eh? Crimson butterflies. <clears throat> well, we've certainly seen a lot of crimson butterflies. I've heard about this place. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? Hmm, chapter one, the lost village. Well, we have found our sister. Now, if you notice, um, Mao actually ran off chasing a crimson butterfly. So I think that's going to be kind of a theme in this game. So you can see I played about two hours and change into it um, before I decided that I... I think everything's working okay, and my cat is trying to climb across my desk, which is not wonderful. Okay, so anyway, before we head back, one thing that I did find, uh, and they've got the textbook Fatal Frame running speed, which is awful, by the way. Yeah, these characters, uh, even when they're running, they barely move. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something that kind of makes me laugh. I don't know. I don't know what it is with Japanese schoolgirls, but I guess they can't run. And I'm going to change the subject because that's... Ooh, the rope bridge. Boards are old. It'll be probably be dangerous to cross it without a light. You should probably find another path. Looks like a cemetery. Ah, interesting. Because we can go back there later and there is stuff there. So we need to go get the flashlight first. Well, okay. Should we check out that village? Well, I suppose we don't really have a lot of choice because we can't go back. Statue of the Guardian Deities appears to be a carving of twins. There seems to be many statues like this one throughout the village. How do you know? We haven't been to the village yet. Hmm, interesting. Now, unlike in the first game, we can't actually get our film replaced from our camera by save stop, uh, stations, apparently. Uh, huge town-like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal rock. Maybe it's some kind of altar. Yeah, well, hopefully it's nothing to do with the strangulation murders. That would be awkward. Now, apparently... Apparently, I've read something new to the Xbox version. It's a in-game shop where you can buy health and things like that. But I don't know where that is or where it's hidden. So, or if it's hidden or whether it's something you come up to, I don't know. There is something on the ground. Black bag. There are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. News clippings. And news clippings from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Surveyor Missing. With the start of construction for the All Gods Dam approaching, Masumi uh, 26, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Uh, Mr. Makamura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. It seems to be a follow-up to that other news clipping. The search for Masumi uh, Makamura, 26, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makamura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All Gods Dam. As of yesterday, he's been missing for 10 days. Ooh. A photo of a man and a woman are attached to the news clippings. You put the news clippings uh, and the photo of the couple in your file. That's just explaining how files work. Who else is here? So somebody, at least semi-recently, has gone missing. And apparently some... Ooh, somebody else has decided to try and look for them. Statue of Guardian Deities, yep. Well, well, well. Let's have a little poke around, shall we? I wonder if anyone's here. 
Something's definitely going on with Meow. Ooh, hello. Now, we should be able to get a photo of her, but because we don't have the camera yet, I'm guessing a New Game Plus would sort that out. Well, this all looks very familiar, doesn't it? If you've seen the first game. Very familiar indeed. Should we go inside? Mayu? Mayu! What's wrong? Looks like we got a little bit of a vision of what happened here. So, somebody murdered somebody. Somebody didn't want to kill anymore. Uh, basically, there's some bad voodoo going on in here. So, a woman's notebook. A page torn from a notebook is near the sunken fireplace. I've heard rumours about the lost village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to the village's entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Interesting. Okay. So we don't know how this one ties into the first game. But that's okay. I'm sure all will be... Ooh. All will be unveiled. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say this village vanished on the day of a ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over. So she's just basically written the same text that we've just read. All right, love. Women's old kimonos in the chest of drawers. They all look like women's. Okay. So we've got some sacred water. Right. And that's it. Alright, let's get out of here. Come on, meow, out of the way. Wait, no. We're meow, aren't we? Not Mayu. <clears throat> Right, we're going to save it, not super often, but if we pass a new save spot, we're going to save. Just because, like I said, my Xbox was uh, crashing fairly often. Uh, but I believe that was due to one of the modded options being active. Used to crash about every 20 minutes. Didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. 
Uh, let's keep walking around. Guess we can go through here. Whereas I played it for nearly two hours the other day, straight through. Ooh. We didn't get any crashing. So that appears, some nice herbal medicine, that appears to be the woman whose bag we found, I'm guessing. She's come looking for the surveyor. Ooh. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. And that's from Mayako Sudo. Yeah, bed indeed. A bed that obviously has a body in it. Sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped. Maybe. The faded hanging painting here. Yeah, unfortunately my dyslexia does not lend very well to pronouncing Japanese names and words, but hey ho, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Looks like an atrium beyond the lattice. You can see a deck beyond the atrium. Alright, well, I guess we're going to go have a little look at that. Alright. Come on, my, let's get out of here. There has to be something a little bit more interesting down this corridor. Ooh. Nope. Nothing. We got nothing. We got no way to defend ourselves. Ooh. So somebody is searching for somebody. It's got to be the girlfriend or wife or sister or someone to do the missing surveyor. There's a padlock engraved with a family crest representing Ginger on the door. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I was kind of like stuck loafing around here for a little while where she kept saying somebody is stuck, but you can't actually do anything to that door, so I don't really know what the reference to that actually is. Uh, we can go down here, but I, yeah, there's just a, a door that's locked there. We can't go through there yet either. All right, let's go. Let's see where that mysterious woman was moving to. It is unfortunate that uh, Mayu has damaged her leg somehow. Yeah, this place doesn't look like it would be well insulated or heated, to be honest. Just gonna throw that out there. So we've got another woman's notebook three. A piece of a memo is on the floor. Asumi, it's me. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so it is. Mayoko, I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Miss you. I wonder if anyone's really here. Yeah, I wonder. Kind of looks a little bit quiet here, doesn't it? Cold, damp wind is blowing from the atrium. Hmm. Something is not quite right. That's all we know. Okay, let's get out of here. There's dust in the cold brazier. Hasn't been used in a long time. Alright, well, I mean, that certainly makes sense. You can see the room on the other side through a crack between the sliding doors. Okay, well, we found another notebook, so whatever ghost is in here seems to want us to understand a little bit more of what's going on. Oh? Why indeed? The door is tightly, slightly ajar. Well, 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 what do we have? There are some old containers on the shelf. There isn't anything unusual about them. Strange about this place. Yeah. So this place has been absolutely destroyed. So we've got our flashlight. The battery still seems to be good. Somebody must have left it here. Camera obscura pointers. It's an old book is under the flashlight. 
Camera pointers is written on the cover. Camera obscura pointers. This camera was made by, yeah, we don't really need to read this. It's, it's telling us how to use the camera. It's just tutorials. Right, and that's some more information there about how to use the camera, but we should be okay. We got this. Alright, well, there's some weird funky voodoo going on in here. And we don't like it. I've got some more herbal medicine. And my phone is ruining the ambience. Thanks, phone. So, herbal medicine. Is there anything else in this little alcove? No, they're withered, but it looks as if they were placed there recently. Okay, so someone's recently been placing flowers. Curious. So this is the broken door that leads through to the other side that we've seen. Interesting. Okay. Well, we've got what we needed. Something's here, all right. It's just us with our Type 45 film. Come on, love. Guess there's not much we can do with her just yet. It's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, the presence you were feeling in front of the door is gone now. It's said that you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? I guess so. Okay, let's move on. We need to start thinking about other rooms. Although, we don't really have any other rooms to explore. But what we can do... Let's go back into this one. Because there was some weird stuff in here. Hello? Anybody home? Pretty sure we can now play with something in here. Or at least set something off, anyway. Or maybe not. Let's head back upstairs then. Ooh, hang on. 
Out of the way, Mao. Or Mayu. We've got stuff to do. Let's go through this door here. I know somewhere there's a trigger. Maybe not. There's definitely a trigger in here somewhere. But anyway, we are literally out of time now. So let's give it a save. And when we come back, we're going to have a good little poke around. I know there's another little trigger point in this place. It's just a matter of finding it. But guys, that will have to be done in the next episode. So I hope you're enjoying this game. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Uh, you've seen that I've played about two hours and some change into it. And from what, what I saw of the game, I actually enjoyed it. I possibly preferred it to the first game as well. Uh, this storyline that they've got going on in here just seems a little bit more interesting to me. I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. Thank you.